So do you have a piece of advice for, for the single mom who's just looking, we're not talking about the tactical guru, know-it-alls. I mean, a piece of advice for single mothers out there who are just trying to protect their kids. You know, I think the best thing that we can teach people outside of, you know, is situational awareness. I mean, if you, you got to be aware of what's going on around you at all times, you can see things. If you're looking for it, you can see things develop long before you get yourself too far into it. Um, you know, pulling up to a gas station, seeing, you know, recognizing who's there. Don't be so busy with what's going on, whether it's the kids in the back seat or what's the phone or anything like that. Pay attention to what's going on around you and avoid those situations before you ever get pulled into it. And it, one, the nice thing about that is it alleviates your chance of having to get involved in something. Because the last thing, you know, the last thing anybody wants to do is get into a gunfight. Yep. You know, because there's nothing positive that's going to come out of it for the most part because you may survive it. You may take out the bad guy, but you're going to probably go to jail or at least get pulled downtown, thrown in cuffs, taken in. If you got your kids with you, things like that. I mean, I, I don't. I don't like trouble. I like to avoid it at all costs. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, but at the same time, you got to be ready if you, if it does develop and whether you see it or develop or not, and it develops around you, you got to be ready. So, uh, yeah. you know, it's training. As we all know, it's the highest level of training. People don't rise to the occasion. Yeah, they don't. They don't. You fall back to the highest level of training. And if you're not training on a regular basis, and it doesn't have to be shooting rounds down range. It's dry fire. It's every, and not just dry fire at the range. It's taking that time at home to dry fire in every situation. Where's my gun at when I um, am in bed? Where is it when I'm sitting in my chair watching TV? Yeah. You know? Um, you know, <clears throat> just to... <clears throat> Just to expound on your point with when it comes to situational awareness, I mean, people do not, it's really, it doesn't sink in, you know what I mean, with them. And, and so I just want to expound on that point is one thing that I've always done to include my time at, I mean, from the SEAL teams, CIA, doing what we did, and now is eye contact. Yep. You know, eye contact, eye contact, eye contact. I never hear anybody say that, but, you know, Eye contact with another human being shows that you have confidence and that you are aware of what's going on. So you mentioned the gas station. If you pull up to the gas station and all the pumps are around you are full, it's nighttime. It doesn't even have to be night, anytime. You right. know, get out, make eye contact with everybody around. I don't mean I don't mean stare them down. I just mean, hey, I see you there. I know you're there yeah. and then move on to the next. You say hi, wave at them, whatever, let them know. I see you. I know you're right there. I also see you. I know you're there and I know you're there over there too. Yep. And when, when you do things like that, like make, make eye contact with somebody, they know that you're looking around. They know that you're aware. They know that you have a certain level of confidence for whatever reason, you know, and <clears throat> that works that works with every culture. Yep. It doesn't matter what the language is, what the race is, what the ethnicity is, what the religion is. None of that. It doesn't matter where you're at in the world. Eye contact always shows that you have confidence. Well, and, and one thing that does for you is you're looking at them. You they, now in their mind, wait, this guy can identify me now. This lady can identify yep. me now. If I'm a bad guy looking at doing bad things. Okay, that may be the thing that changes my mind because if I did something, whether it's to that person or somebody else, I know by them making eye contact with me that they can identify me. Yep. All these things create a harder target. As yep. easy it is to do, and it's not that easy for some people to look at to make eye contact. You know? Right. But all these things show that you're going to be a harder target than the next person that pulls in. And so sometimes... Most of the time, that's all you need yeah. is to make somebody go, I don't want to stir up the hornet's nest with this one. I'm going to wait for somebody else. Yeah. I, I want to put the least amount of effort, you know, because these guys are nervous to do this kind of stuff, too. So anyways, <clears throat> good discussion. 